Y'all ready for full circle? I don't think y'all are ready yet. Some terrible things have been happening in the world and what you're about to see might be very disturbing. So if there are small children in the room, please have them leave. Lil Macy has embraced the Edgar fade. He cut off his dreads and decided to go full on Lloyd Christmas. Many people believe that he is appropriating Jim Carrey culture by getting the fade. Whatever you think, it's working because now he has over 1 million followers on TikTok. Blueface, who used to be popular four years ago, even gave Macy a shout out. Did you start? Did you start? Yeah. Everybody, Blueface said, did you start? And everybody's wondering how I feel about it. And honestly, I give Blueface the did you start pass. I give him the pass. Now why is him getting the Edgar fade important? It's because I told him to. First things first, bro. Now that you're signed to me, you gotta make some changes to your appearance. You gotta get rid of those dreads, bro. And you gotta get the fucking Edgar fade, bro. It's all about the Edgar fade, man. That's the new wave in 2022. I actually kind of like my dreads, but um... See, if you take advice from me, things will go well for you. Now hopefully he can reach 2 million soon. So you guys might recognize Sharky905. If you go on Instagram right now, he's probably arguing with somebody about how he's not a pedophile. Pedophile! <laughs> Do it. Work. Now, why do people think he's a pedo? There was a leaked conversation of him talking to a 16-year-old boy when he was 19. He even sent the 16-year-old a flame react. Now, this makes me really angry because he never sent me a flame react. Maybe I'm too old for him. This interaction seemed a little flirtatious, so people like to call him a pedophile. He said something kind of interesting. Why are y'all going after me when VM showed his dick to a 12 year old well the difference between sharky and vm is that sharky has options in life vm is the type of dude to use public transportation and buy cigarettes using ebt the point is most people don't want to kick somebody who is down now vm this guy has just been really boring recently then again he's always been boring i need to find a new arch nemesis you might recognize him from How to Catch a Predator. VM actually has a couple kids. I found that out from an Amber Alert. He definitely earned his title as the George Zimmerman of rap music. VM doesn't like Halloween because he's used to kids knocking on the inside of his door. There's an infamous video of him showing his shrimp to a 12 year old boy. He claims that the kid catfished him and he thought he was talking to a girl. Well, he was FaceTiming the kid and I feel like if he was talking then you'd probably know that it was a little boy and at the very end you can clearly see the kid flip the camera and you could see his face vm side of the story is that there was nobody talking he couldn't see anybody but he showed his dick anyway why would a 12 year old boy solicit a dick pic from a 26 year old man child i think he's around 28 now it just doesn't add up and following that incident he was caught several times flirting with minors and right now he's trying to beat a case and many people speculate that it has to do with messing with minors now he checked in with swift blue a lot of swifty blue fans are in the comments saying things like he showed his dick to a kid he's a predator and vm's whole thing is attaching himself to somebody with clout because he can't get any clout on his own he did this with barry lil macy the island boys he even tried to do an interview with me at one point and now he's leeching off swifty blue by the way, I got nothing but love for Swifty. I hope he goes platinum. Now, Swifty has gotten hella clout recently because he's been saying if anyone wants to visit LA, they need to check in with him for protection. Gangland, the southern side. I'm right here with the homie from White Fence. Check it out. If you ever in Los Angeles and you are here handling business, make sure you tap in with some solid homies for your own security. Gang. The streets is dangerous. If you're not tapped in, you will get stepped on, believe that. You will get stepped on, believe that. The streets is dangerous. Tap in, tap the fuck in.
something. So if you're down there, somebody tries to rob you, Swifty will show up in a drop top like Pedro's cousins. And let me show you what I mean by clout. I saw a post about a guy with 39 kids. Somebody left a comment. Did he check in with Swifty Blue? This post, US military in South Korea fire missiles in response to North Korea firing missiles over Japan. That had comments saying, get Swifty in office and we won't have this problem and they ain't check in with Swifty. I can go on, but he's known for protecting people from ops. And as you know, VM's ops are his ex-girlfriend who he abused and threw a water bottle at and the manager of Fat Sal's. Fat Sal's is a sandwich place that he got kicked out of. I don't think he needs protection. Gangbangers aren't eager to shoot a five foot four white guy with $10 to his name. If you were to take the bus to the Roscoe's in South Central, he'd probably be fine. This fool is mostly broke because of his legal fees and he sold his car to live with the Island Boys. Trying to portray a lifestyle of danger and clout just isn't working out for him. He should just go back to his job of selling THC cards to kids who live in Bible Belt states. By the way, check out these DMs. VM stole a woman's identity, took her credit cards, her ID, and social security number, and he sold it to somebody else. This dude is a sex offender, and who knows how he got this woman's cards and ID. I kind of want to get in contact with her and tell her who took her stuff. And listen, VM's position as the biggest goofy might be threatened by a man named Wyatt Buell. I don't know what you're talking about. Because it's about to be my house. My dad is on his deathbed. He you're just went to the doctor this day. His terrorism is at five. You don't have to. I'm selling it and moving to Florida. What the fuck is you talking about? I know what I'm doing in life. Yeah, I'm set. I know where I'm headed. But you want to do all this arguing. Get out of my house. You want to do all this arguing for what? Get out. Get out. I don't want to be with you. I love you. Mr. Wyatt was arguing with his girlfriend because he doesn't want to get a job. He wants to be a rapper. He's pretty much waiting for his dad to die so he can inherit his house. And his girlfriend has been yelling at him because he's been experiencing opioid-induced erectile dysfunction. Wyatt compared himself to Elon Musk, saying Elon doesn't do labor. Um, Elon also doesn't do drugs, and he's also not on Instagram live all day, and he actually does work, like 10 hours a day. Bitch, mental, what the fuck are you talking about? You don't know shit. The fuck? You think Elon Musk, you think Elon Musk fucks do, does labor? You think Elon Musk does labor, nigga? You think that nigga, you think that nigga lifted a finger? No, he uses his head. Like me. What? I'm gonna be a billionaire, bitch. I'm gonna be a billionaire, bitch. You gonna suck on this dick. And everything says, the battle of the needle. Go ahead, call him. I got nothing on me. Now let this be a lesson to all the kids out there. Don't get face tattoos, don't do opiates, and get a job. Now say white boy, whose real name is Bubba Brinkley. That's not his real name, but he looks like a Bubba. He's currently in the hospital because of a suicide attempt. I guess he has diabetes. I have diabetes. <laughs> diabetes. And drank an excessive amount of Mountain Dew. I talked to him about that and he said he likes going to the hospital. It's like a hotel for him. And I hope he was joking about the suicide thing. He's currently being shipped to a mental hospital. They're probably gonna give him some kind of opiate, antidepressant, and people People think I'm an asshole for suggesting that a lifestyle change can cure depression. The way you feel is only 50% hereditary. Science has proven that exercising can increase your endorphin levels and vitamin D deficiency is usually linked with depression. I know people who take antidepressants who are still depressed and now they're just addicted to something and have to deal with the side effects. It's annoying that we act like pills are the only solution. It's just like saying, why work out to build muscle when you can just take a steroid? But hopefully Bubba can get over his problems. 
Okay, let's look for some fucking questions. None of these are good. Can someone tell me what JIT is? It's an acronym for jacking off Indian transsexuals. Famous criminals, when are you going to tell the world that you are a juggalo? I saw that pic of you with the hatchet man, Shane. You afraid people are going to clown you? Listen, it doesn't matter if you are black, white, or brown. All that matters is that you are down with the clown till you're dead in the ground. So you may have saw the guy wearing the famous criminal shirt on No Jumper. He did have a hatchet man chain, but unfortunately, that's not me. That's Puerto Rican Chuckles. And as far as ICP, I do like them. I think they're a better version of Kiss. I might do an ICP video one day. Have you heard of a popper stopper? Get one, my dude. I actually have one and I've been using it these past few videos. Thank you for your advice. Remember when PMB Rock jumped Lil B? I sure do. Lil B definitely talked too much, or he used to. I think after getting jumped, he slowed down. He's not doing the most anymore. He's not trolling as much. And actually, Lil B made some good music when he was with the pack, and I knew some hipster kids in high school who hated rap, but they jokingly would say that Lil B is the best rapper ever. He made really low effort music that mocked mainstream rap, like he's a caricature of a stereotypical rapper and he does it on purpose. Lil B is joking. It's satire. It's kind of what Lil Macy is doing right now. Why the quotes don't stay up longer like an intro for 5 seconds or 10. I'll keep them up for longer. I used to try to relate them to the video. Now I just find random ones that sound good. It's never your successful friends posting motivational quotes. What software do you use to make videos? I use Splice and iMovie. Soccer is unbearable. You know, a lot of comedians, sports fans, they complain that the WNBA is being shoved down our throat. The sports media is doing everything to make it relevant, even though it's not popular. And that's exactly how I feel about soccer. If someone likes soccer, they're either from another country or they're a hipster that wants to be more worldly. I think the field is too big. If it was half the size, they'd probably score more. It'd be more entertaining. Like... They kick under the goal instead of over the goal like in football. It's not aggressive enough. I'd like to see them punch each other like in hockey. And if you like it, that's cool. Some people like smoking crack. Anyway, I'm out.